Royal Variety Performance. Good evening and welcome to the Royal Variety Performance 2001. <laughs> the Dominion Theatre here in London and we're thrilled that it's in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen and also His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. All the proceeds from tonight are donated to the Entertainment Artists Benevolent Fund of which Her Majesty the Queen is the patron. Tonight it's music, music, music all the way and we have some of the world's biggest stars waiting to take to the stage. From America we have the sensational Jennifer Lopez and Cher. Britain's own Craig David, Russell Watson, Hearsay and The Cause. We've got comedy from Jackie Mason and we've also got the company of the hit Broadway musical The Full Monty waiting to do their stuff. We've also got some surprises lined up for you and the one and only Sir Elton John in his first Royal Variety performance since 1972. Now the audience are about to take their seats and Her Majesty the Queen is arriving at the theatre. Well, thank you, Emma. Emma Forbes then looking gorgeous tonight. And Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh now arriving at the theatre to be met by the general manager of the Dominion, Stephen Murta. Shaking hands with His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh now and escorting the royal party through to the foyer. Where they'll meet Mr. Laurie Mansfield, who is life president of the Entertainment Artist Benevolent Fund. Introduces Her Majesty now to Mr. Peter Elliott, who's Executive Administrator of the EABF. And Mr. Peter Pritchard, OBE, Chairman and Life Governor of the Fund. Among those representing ITV tonight, Charles Allen, Chairman of Granada, David Liddermont, Director of Programs, and Stuart Preble, Chief Executive, both from ITV Network Limited. So, let's go inside for the Royal Variety Performance 2001. a glimpse of me enjoying my pre-show colonic irrigation. <laughs> and if there's anyone here at all who can help me with a horse, I'm not very good with them. Anyone good with horses at all? Ah, oh, who do we have here? It's Frankie the Tory. How are you? Hello, Julian. Very well. 
You're looking lovely. Um, what were these colors you're wearing? Well, I'm very proud to wear tonight the Queen's colors. <laughs> we know what you're saying. <laughs> I brought something that might be good news for you later on. I don't know what you're implying, but I think, I think you may have gone too far. <laughs> well, there's the horse, if you wouldn't mind obliging me, ladies and gentlemen, Frankie de Tori. <laughs> the King's Royal Hazard. Something to do with your old source, this, isn't it? <laughs> the school crossing patrollers of the London boroughs of London. Thank you, gentlemen. The Rising Dragon Martial Arts Troop. This is something I do every Friday night. Without fail. The Yeoman Warders of Her Majesty's Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London. Thank you, gentlemen. The London O's American football team. The Spandiatori di Gubbio. That is Italian flag wavers to you. I can do something similar with a beach towel. <laughs> and do look at this one in the middle. He's got three flags on the go. He obviously has an A-level in flag throwing. It's not as easy as it looks. From the Royal Hospital Chelsea, the Chelsea Pensioners. <laughs> thank you. Well, here we all are. How lovely. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. And, um, and what's your name? Alan Gale. Alan, I'm thrilled to meet you, and uh, I've been admiring your, your lovely medals there. I've got a medal of my own, actually. Have you really? Yes, do you know what it's for? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> diving. <laughs> Sorry? Well, I've actually from Dunkirk. I can't swim. You can't swim. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, where would we be without these stout-hearted men? Have you got any bagpipes about your person? Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> you are hiding them from me? No, no. <laughs> well, luckily, I know where there are some. Would you please welcome the pipes and drums of the London Regiment?
Now, um, while I go and make sure that my stout-hearted men are all right backstage, would you please welcome all the way from America, Jackie Mason. <laughs> It's greatly a pleasure to see me in person, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great opportunity for you. We have, we have a fantastic show scheduled here today. They told me to announce it to you that the fantastic show is scheduled with fantastic stars. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, so we have different people here today. We have, we have uh, some great stars here. We have Elton John about to come out. One of the great biggest stars in the world today is Elton John. You don't care? He's here. We have Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez is even bigger, especially here. <laughs> Over here, she's big, she's big all over. And we have Cher. Cher, I don't know exactly how big she is. That's none of my business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not my time to talk. I'm going to be a big hit later in the show. Right now, we have other people to perform. I don't know if they have any talent or not. That's not my business. <laughs> But we're going to take a chance with them. Here's the rest of the show. I'm getting out. Let's see what happens when they'll have no music. Here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hearsay. told you I'll be back. I knew I had to save the show again. <laughs> this is a brilliant show. This is a brilliant group. This is the most fantastic group in this whole country. You're looking at me like you can't believe it. <laughs> Aren't they great? They're looking at me like they're waiting for a comedian to show up. This is it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, now I want to introduce to you a brilliantly well-known comedian in this country, a man who has fascinated audience all over the world, which means over here it's going to be a big problem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Jethro. Right. 
Now, before we, before we start, I'd like to say be, before we start, I'm not in a very good mood. <laughs> My wife, a cow, she worse than you. <laughs> I lend her a thousand pounds to have plastic surgery. Now, I can't get the money back and I don't know who to look for. <laughs> You know, she went in the wool shop in Camborne. She said, I want some wool. I'm going to knit a coat for the dog. They said, well, bring the dog in and we'll measure the dog and then we'll know how much wool that you want. She said, I can't do that. It's a surprise. <laughs> She's stupid, that woman. But I met her, let see, I've had two very unhappy marriages. <laughs> My first wife died, and this one won't. <laughs> but you know, four nights ago, I couldn't stand her no more. I went in the pub all weekend and got home Sunday night, and she is nasty. She is. She said, how would you like it if you didn't see me for three days? <laughs> so I said, I'd love it. Well, I've never seen her the Monday, or the Tuesday, or the Wednesday. But by the Wednesday evening, the swelling had gone down just enough. <laughs> I could just remember uh, mm, Wednesday, but... Mm, I've had a, a very sad life, little gentleman. No. It's awful. Mm, my father died two years before I was born. <laughs> And being a poor family like we were, you wouldn't know what it's like to be poor. You remember the stick on soles? It was never as good as shoes. <laughs> never, never, never. And then grandfather died and he died in the blue suit and he never ever wore a blue suit. He always wore a black suit. But the undertaker said, I'll find the black suit for him. Well, he said, well, we couldn't afford another suit. Well, we went in the day before the funeral, and there was Grandfather in the black suit. Wasn't that lovely? I said, how much was the black suit? He said, you won't have to pay nothing. Because there was another man brought in two days after, and now he died in the black suit, and he wanted a blue suit. <laughs> so he said, I just swapped the heads. <laughs> It's a lovely, caring thing to do, Lil Dubba, for a poor family. Mm -hmm. But Lil Dubba, don't laugh too much. I ain't got time for laughing. <laughs> so, Lil Dubba, I don't want to be too late tonight because my wife has lost her voice and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> Thanks for having me up. I hope one day I'll come again. Thanks for having me up and enjoy a wonderful show. Good night and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, Cher.
coming up on the Royal Variety Performance, the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber, Craig David, and the full Monty. made of one-to-ones. But some are more difficult than others. That's why we've created a new tariff that lets you use your free minutes to call anyone on any network. It's called Everyone because it includes everyone. Everything you need for a party. Hi, babe. Are you getting changed, babe? At Sainsbury's. Now there's the great taste of Liam Perrins in a rich, thick table sauce. Liam Perrins, now as a table sauce. Claire. I still need your report. Nearly finished. The office party's in an hour. At last. Now I can uplift flagging spirit. And thanks to the Boots number seven beauty consultant, radiate beauty and inner calm. Hi. Thanks for popping in. The rock violet got me. Oh, Merry Christmas, Alison. Tolly, the olive oil barons of Italy. This is New Woman Love Songs. 43 of the finest modern love songs with the brilliant new single from Kate Winslet. Woman, love songs, the album. You've got a stuffy nose. Your sinuses are all blocked up. Take clinically proven non-drowsy Sudafed, and it could disappear. And if you've got painful sinus pressure around the eyes as well, there's new Sudafed Dual Relief Max. How clear do you want it to be? Oh, Jack, look at the queue. <coughs> Sorry, I'm full up. There you go. Jack's mum says you don't get full up with the Milky Way. I think he's gonna go for it, Jack. That's what ZG. <laughs> Sixty years an entertainer. Higher, higher. ITV One presents Brucey's life story by the man who knows him best, himself. The awkward thing about living in a caravan is where do you go to the toilet? The unique man in his own words. Bruce Forsyth on Bruce Forsyth, Friday 9.30, ITV One. just run up from rehearsals for Chicago, but the Royal Variety Performance is a very, very special occasion. And tonight we have a young man from Russia with a very special talent. Now recently, I found myself hanging, climbing, swinging from many things in many places. That was for challenge of a lifetime. But I could never do anything like this next gentleman. So please sit back and enjoy the talent of Anatoly Zalievsky. 
Mr. Lloyd Webber, <clears throat> what can I say about him that hasn't been said? I tell you some of those things, but the Queen's here. Anyway, I'm doing this and I'll tell you why. Because I think Andrew Lloyd Webber is stalking me. <laughs> no, because I think he's after me to play Christine in Phantom for the film. And um, actually, I just think he wants me as the next wife, which really frightens me. <laughs> He says I remind him of Sarah Brightman, which frightens me much more. <laughs> anyway, tonight we're going to hear some of the samplings from the master's repertoire. And I will be stepping out once in a while to tell you how they're different from each other. I'll be telling you things like... <laughs> I'll be telling you things like, this one's faster. <laughs> and this one's sad. <laughs> so we have Robert Meadmore and Charlotte Church. Of course, Charlotte's done very well for herself. She's already kissed the ring of the Pope and met Clinton. I, I, I think that was the order it was in. Also contributing are Samantha Mumba, Alessandro Safina, Denise Van Uten, and the reason I'm here tonight, Donny Osmond. Also, there'll be Vinnie Jones giving us the cavity from Cats. Also, we start off this evening with Adam Watkiss from ITV's This Is My Moment. So ladies and gentlemen, and the queen, the genius of Andrew Lloyd Webber. Thank 
the scene of crime, a cavity is not there. He's outwardly respectable, I know. He cheats at cards. And his footprints are not found in any file of scraps. And yeah. And when the lard is looted, or the jewel case is rifled, or when the milk is missing, or another piece is Then my cavity's not there. Each sensation darkness stirs and wakes imagination. Silently the senses a 
the music of the
Still to come on the Royal Variety Performance, Cirque du Soleil. From Ireland, The Cause. And Elton John. Sleigh bells ring. Look, we'll carry on and you go into Woolies. Steps in day. Snow is glistening. At Woolies this Christmas, we've got three for two on matchmakers. Three for two on all packs of baubles. And Sony PlayStation 2 consoles for under 200 quid. Of course, with offers like these, you might forget what you went in for. Well, did you get it? Uh, couldn't see it anywhere. Walking in a winter wonderland. There are some fantastic savings at Boots this Christmas. Like our amazing offer on ladies and men's fine fragrances. With up to a third off a huge range of well-known brands, it's a great time to treat someone special to their favorite fragrance. Great gift ideas, great offers, now available at Boots. Sleigh bells ring, I am listening. At Woolies this Christmas, buy this exclusive one-to-one -one Alcatel 311 SE and get a portable CD stereo free. Of course, with offers like these, you might forget what you went in for. Pick and mix. Pick and mix.
let your senses guide you. Encore, the brilliant new album from The Voice, Russell Watson. Featuring classic songs and arias, plus duets with Lulu and Lionel Richie. An epic new album from a sensational talent. Encore, from Russell Watson, out now. At Woolies this Christmas, get 20% off all Christmas trees. And three quid off this 100-piece bag of mega blocks. Of course, with offers like these, you might forget what you went in for. Pastry brush. Thanks. Looking to buy a new computer for the internet? The choices are endless. Which one do you choose? This one? That one? Whatever computer you choose, choose AOL. AOL offer you and your family the very best of entertainment, information, and much more. You can try AOL on your PC for free. Our trial gives you 100 hours of access to AOL and the internet. Simply call AOL on 0800 331 6000 for your completely free trial. This next man um, has many famous voices at his disposal. What he can't do with his throat and lips isn't worth doing. <laughs> we know him from Radio 4's Dead Ringers. Here's, of course, John Culshaw. People of Britain, this is your Prime Minister. <laughs> Wispy hair, awkward smile, sweaty shirt. <laughs> what a splendid occasion and a wonderful honour to be here tonight, all in the presence of one who rules so graciously and distinguishedly, as is proper, by divine right. <laughs> it's good to have me here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and at all times, we will declare our profound solidarity with our good friend, President Bush. <laughs> As President of the United States of Armenia, <laughs> it certainly is a wonderful honor to be here tonight in the beautiful Dominatrix Theater <laughs> in your wonderful town of London, Chester. Right here in the United King land of England, here in Brazil. <laughs> you know, I share three things with your fine leader, President Blair. <laughs> One, our vision of a new world order. Two, our dream of a better, more stabilized future. No, I knew there was something. Help me out here. <laughs> Our drunken kids. Always a Nebra metoxificated. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Johnny Vaughan, back on Movie Watch. Never try a sitcom. <laughs> After Channel 4. After oh, Channel 4, poaching the cricket from the BBC. There are rumours that more programmes are set to follow. Here's a sneak preview of Sir Patrick Moore in the first ever Sky at Night on Channel 4. Booyakasha. <laughs> break, break, jungle is posse. <laughs> now, me is here to talk to you about space and ting. <laughs> space, it is well big, isn't it? <laughs> now, my brothers, them is saying to me, Patrick Mann. If he is wanting to go to space, I, to check out the Mars and be hanging with the Jupiter Massive, <laughs> is me gonna get there in my BMW with the alloy wheels and the blacked out windows, I? <laughs> and me saying, in all likelihood, no. 
You go to Mars in your BMW with your alloy wheels and your blacked out windows, the Martians is gonna zap you because they think you as a dealer. And... <laughs> Everybody, get wise about space, get knowing about it, and big up yourself. West side. <laughs> You've been ever so nice. I'll see you a little later. Thank you. I'm not on yet, but uh, <laughs> I just uh, couldn't resist the temptation to introduce this next artist who is a great British talent, very young, uh, writes brilliant songs, has sold millions and millions of records during the last two years all over the world, and he's a hero of mine because I think he's really, really talented. Please give a great reception to Craig David. <laughs> Someone to say, yeah, what is Craig David? It's seven days, so check it out. Well, on the way to see my friends who lived a couple blocks away from me. How as I walked through the subway, it must have been about quarter past three. In front of me stood a beautiful honey with a beautiful body. She asked me for the time. I said, I cost her a name, a six digit number, and a date for me tomorrow at night. Did she decline? No. Didn't she mind? I don't think so. <laughs> was it for real? Damn sure. What was the deal? A pretty girl that's 24. So was she keen? She could wait. Said I'm a queen. So let me update. Why did she say? She said she loved you too. Rendezvous. She asked me what we were gonna do. So we stopped for the bottle of more way for two Monday. I took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, but you did on Sunday. But this girl on Monday, I took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we chilled on Sunday. Break it down, yeah, break it down, yeah. Since I met this special lady, ooh, yeah. I can't get her off my mind She's one of a kind And I ain't about to deny it It's a special kind of thing With you oh. Took her for a drink on Tuesday We were making love by Wednesday And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday We chill on Sunday I met this girl on Monday, I took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday, and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday we chilled on. You know what? Yo, I got to start a technique, uh, just to make her knees weak. I saw my diamond call me super duper freak, cause I bought my best one, the chicken for the other week. Who me? Help me see your AIG 99.9% safety. Jenny Fabulous for more entry, no short circuit leading to baby, follow me. The one and only, to kick back and rock my CD. Bass sign set at the frequency, tell my make you, my move your body. Ooh, fill up the venue, you remember me for what you gon' do. But b b break it down for brand new, just give me the microphone to hold on to Monday. I took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday, and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we chilled on Sunday. I met this girl on Monday. I took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday, and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Oh, Saturday, we chilled on Sunday.
Oh, it's lovely to be here tonight, it really is. Mind you, at my age, at my age, it's lovely to be anywhere tonight, really. <laughs> but you may wonder what I'm doing here. Well, in February, I shall be opening in the full Monty at the Prince of Wales Theatre. Yeah. <laughs> The bad news is, I won't be taking my clothes off, but, but somebody will, anyway. Now, they may not be young, and they may not be very pretty, and they may not be very good, but they're here, and they're live, and tonight, for one night only, they're going to go for no less than the full Monty. <laughs> London. My whole church group's here. That's nothing. Look up there. <laughs> then I'm not going the full Monty. I don't mind. I'll go the full Monty. Who asked you, Godzilla? <laughs> Did I capture your imagination? Did I break you down and make you smile? It's a serious little situation Why don't we loosen up and dance a while You need a loose lip lover with a heart of honey Wow, that's my husband! You need a sex cadet when duty calls I love you, Harold Come on, show me all your bare-faced beauty tag And that it all I want to see our shadows bouncing off the wall let it go, let it go. Loosen up, yeah, let it go. Let it go, let it go. It's all right. Let it go, let it go. Shake it up now, let it go. You just tell me when you think you're ready. Come on, fellas, I brought my telescope. Yeah, I'll tell you when you can put your telescope. Who are you, lady? for the voice, Russell Watson, the pub landlord, and the sensational Jennifer Lopez. It may look mean, but the aloe vera plant's soothing extract enriches every single sheet of New Andrex aloe vera. New Andrex with friendly aloe vera. With some of the finest shops and restaurants in the South, including John Lewis and Marks and Spencer, You'll sense the difference at West Quay, Southampton. You all right? No. 
What's happened? Nothing. Can I get you anything? No, just go away. Imagine the greatest performances, the original hit singles. Together for the very first time, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Gold. Featuring Sarah Brightman and Elaine Page. The definitive singles collection with Madonna, Barbara Streisand and Boyzone. Andrew Lloyd Webber, Gold. Bridget Jones's Diary. Excellent. Mm. Delicious. Eat up. Two more lovely courses to go. Buy it from Saturday. Got a headache. Now there's something new and fast acting. Hmm. Twice as fast. Some may find new Panadol Actifast can get to work up to twice as fast as normal paracetamol. Number four. Police gas. Yeah. Come to look at your uh, boiler. Yeah, he's packed up. Without the heat, I'm in trouble. One of the terminals is loose on the top. Pilot lights, first time now. I won't brag. But I've got a meter in the old uh, flu out there. Out there? Yeah, check that's okay. Checks how well it's burning. It's below four, which is quite a good reading. Get my coat. That's a lovely job done. This nurse has more problems than the patients she treats. But will her personal bitterness affect her professional judgment? It's useless. Keep them alive. Why? Because that's the rules. That's what we do. And you know it. Now pull yourself together. She's about to go too far. Peak practice, Thursday, 8.30, ITV1. Mesdames et messieurs, qui là?
English webs from Cirque du Soleil. And, uh, well, you know, men wearing makeup and tying themselves up in rope. <laughs> <laughs> there are clubs I've been to where you pay for that sort of thing. <laughs> Now, um, in the last five years, our next guest has enjoyed tremendous success, haven't you? Um, with his comedy character, The Pub Landlord, he not only received an Olivier Award nomination for his West End debut show, but scored a tremendous hit in the TV sitcom Time, Gentlemen, Please. He's come along this evening to meet all of us. He is the Duke of Draft, the Prince of Pills. <laughs> the one true king of beers, the pub landlord himself, Mr. Al Murray. Cheers! Let's hear it for the beer! All hail to the ale! And welcome the wine for the ladies. Well, it's a great honour and a privilege to be here at the 73rd Royal Variety Performance. It's a, it's a moving honour and a privilege. And on occasions like this, one does wonder about protocol. How does one address the Queen? That's the main question. Is it Elton, Sir Elton? <laughs> Mr. John, Reg, I don't know. Now. But the Royal Variety is another example of why this country is called Great Britain. Yeah? Great Britain. Yeah? <laughs> Great Britain. Yeah? All right, Britain? No. Not just Britain, I mean the French, they don't call it Great France, do they? No. No. They don't even call it All Right France, do they? No. No, they just call it France, are they? France. 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 With a tiny shrug of their Gallic shoulders, maybe they don't feel the need to talk it up. That's not the point. But the French have lost it, haven't they? They've lost it! They've lost the plot, and they squire. Eh? Eh? The French have lost it. Eh? What's your name, sir? Alan. Alan! Beautiful British name. God bless you. <laughs> but I've travelled far and wide, wide throughout this world, London, and I've been to Brussels, and I've been to Paris. <laughs> Got on the wrong train for Brussels now. I... <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> I travelled on that Eurostar. Now, Alan, have you been on the Eurostar, mate? Of course you have. Let's talk frank and free, Esquire. Yeah, it's just you and me here now. But the Eurostar on the French side is quite impressive, isn't it? If we're honest with ourselves. Yeah? Yeah? It's quick. That's the one word. If you had to describe it in one word, quick. That's the word Alan has chosen. Beautiful British word. Yeah? <laughs> quick. That's the point. Yeah? On the French side, it's very fast. It's like a substance off a shovel. Yeah? It's like... <laughs> it's like a bullet from a rifle barrel. It's like lightning. Yeah? It's very fast. <laughs> Except it's a train, not a bloke, so it's a lot more impressive. <laughs> on the French side, very, very quick. Whereas, and let's speak freely here, Alan, on the British side, it's not so fast, is it, mate? <laughs> It's not like any kind of substance from any kind of shovel, is it? No. It's not like a bullet. It's not a little bit like lightning, is it? No. It's not even like a fast train, if we're honest with ourselves. No, it's more like a clown car, isn't it, mate? Yeah? <laughs> like that, yeah? If you like. Now... So this means your journey, London, Paris, Paris, London, runs as follows. Now, if you want, now, there is a very good reason for this, and it is not that Great Britain is a clapped out country that can't finish a railway line on time. <laughs> it's not it. No, it's dead simple. The driver. He's English. He's just trying to spend as little time in France as he possibly can. <laughs> he's only human, isn't he? <laughs> that entire time he's in Kent, he's smelling the hops. It's poetry. <laughs> well, I have to go now. You've been a beautiful, beautiful crowd. 
And I'm not feeling to pinpoint. And I'm not feeling to Great Britain. And uh, I'd like to ask you to please take your glasses back to the bar. Thank you very much and good night. Cheers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the cause. Say it's true, there's nothing like me in you. I'm not. I'll tell you something, as president of the United States of Antarctica. <laughs> what a fine song that was. Runaway, beautifully performerated by the doors. <laughs> yeah, I love that from Big Frank. It's very wicked and beautiful to be here, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wicked. It's amazing. It's staggering. Everything must go. This leather sofa, this pine and cane furniture. <laughs> These carpets and curtains, everything must go. I'm telling you, I really got stung in that divorce settlement. <laughs> <laughs> and Dale Winton is still on the telly. Hello, my darlings. It's so wonderful to be here. And I'll tell you something, it wouldn't be the Royal Variety performance without lovely Dale, would it? I'm feeling grand, looking wonderful. Tell you something, if you look back to my early part of my career, you know, pets win prizes, supermarket sweep, all of that gubbins. I tell you something, I've got less wrinkles now than I had back then. And I tell you what, my darlings, it's all down to my non-surgical facelifts. <laughs> my intimate irrigation tubes, 
and of course, my Botox. No, no, it's absolutely true. I think it's called Botox, I know. I think they just sort of, uh, oh no! You should try it. They push some tubes in and set the switch to blow, not suck, and it's all very wonderful. Uh, you were saying? <laughs> I don't have a very good feeling about this, my darlings. John. <laughs> now, who could possibly want to go creeping up behind me? Oh, hello, love. <laughs> Sweetheart, it's so good to see you, my darling. I think. Facelifts, intimate irrigation tubes, Botox. <laughs> I tell you, John, I heard every word you said. You sound nothing like him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it, you know, it is amazing when I get done, and the truth be known, I love being done. Well, I don't think any of us doubt that, do we, darling? <laughs> no, nobody, nobody, nobody does me better than you, John. Well, I'm flattered to hear it, my darling. Well, I think I'm flattered to hear it anyway. But it's lovely to see your sweetheart bounding in here like that. Everything all right backstage, my darling? Yeah, actually, you cannot move for leotards, feather boas and curling tongs. Well, I didn't know status quo were even here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you are. I'll tell you what, I'm worn out after my little rant. You do the next bit. I'll go off there, sweetheart, and I'll get the beers in, all right? Yeah, lovely. John Colshaw, isn't he amazing? Thanks. Thank you, John. John. <laughs> Well, what do you say about our next guest? Well, in the world of opera, he is quite simply a superstar. His first album topped the classical charts for over 12 months, only to be toppled by his second album. And what's more, he's British, which is great. And this just so happens to be his very first Royal Variety performance. So please give him a very, very warm welcome. He is the voice. Of course, it's a sensational Russell Watson.
Lily Savage, Barbara Windsor, Scylla Black, and the one and only Elton John. What's the secret of winning? Keep your feet in the stirrups and keep going left. Always left. Left, left, left. What I wouldn't give to go to the right. In a Toyota RAV4. To zig. Or even to zag. To go my own way. Why only left? It's not right. The new Toyota RAV4. B&Q is a great value store for Christmas decorations. No less than four distinctive ranges. Making it easy to create the perfect Christmas for all the family. So come to B&Q. Take away a little magic. You can do it when you B&Q it. The Opera Album 2002 with Charlotte Church, Leslie Garrett, Maria Callas, and Sarah Brightman. Pavarotti, Domingo, and Carreras, the greatest lineup of opera stars ever. This is the Opera Album 2002. Chewy Tuppies. And were this original? They're new. Mmm. So creamy and chewy. I love that taste. <laughs> it could only be Werther's. Werther's original. Whether hard or chewy, they're uncommonly good. Tim, I'll just tell him where we are. <laughs> Phil, how are you? Oh, Steve, I don't know where to start. I should have stayed in bed this morning, haven't I? That was a... Uh, I wish I hadn't asked. How are you? In anyway, in point of fact, I fixed it myself, so I was really pleased with that. You know, Steve, Phil, we're, we're... Are any of these votes going to mean anything? I don't know. So I raised this point. Yeah. Turns up, we're <laughs> should have kept it short and sweet, with a text. Dragged on and on. Oh, sorry, mate, I'm getting a text. Look, I haven't got time to talk now. I've got to meet Tim down the pub. It's good to talk, but sometimes it's better to text. Vodafone, how are you? Stay as sweet as you are. Don't let a thing ever change you. There's only one village in England where the Stilton is still made the age-old way with hand-ladled curd. And there's only one supermarket that sells it. Waitrose. Quality food, honestly priced. It's becoming obsessive. Don't make me do this. Can make you paranoid. Last night, um... Can be a thrill. I think you may be having an affair. Everyone's got something on their minds. You thought I knew something. The special late night edition. You're not in the mood. Night and day, 1020 Thursday, ITV1. Thank you kindly. I thought it was going to be a bad day for JT. I woke up and the waterbed had burst. <laughs> and we haven't got a waterbed. I went, oh. <laughs> Then the wife put her bra on back to front, <laughs> and it fitted. And then I said... <laughs> and then stop for speeding. You can't get stopped for speeding these days. Well, I was. And ladies and gentlemen, when you're on the telly, they love it. I saw him go, Tarbuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tarby, he said. 
<laughs> Off to play golf? At <laughs> so this time of night? <laughs> so he went. And I went with him. <laughs> he said, we have had all the excuses. What's yours? I said, six weeks ago, my wife left me for a traffic cop. I saw you in the mirror, I thought, my God, it's him bringing her back. So, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. And I must say, you're a wonderful audience. It looks like a salute to Saga Holidays. Yeah. <laughs> Sex annually, generally in August. Right. <laughs> what a two the world goes, oh, you know, you're right. Now, anyway, <laughs> it is an absolute honor for me ladies and gentlemen, to read this letter. This year marks the 90th anniversary of Brinsworth House, the home of the entertainment artist Benevolent Fund. The first Royal Variety performance took place in 1912 at the Palace Theatre London in the presence of their majesties, King George V and Queen Mary. And since that first event, over 6,000 artists from all over the world have given their services freely to the Entertainment Artist Benevolent Fund. I would like to wish all involved in the fund every success for the coming year. Elizabeth R. Now, it is entertainment now. This next young lady started her career as a dancer, then rocketed the rock and roll world and pop. She was a huge star in films and in the interim became one of the world's voted most beautiful girls. And none of you would argue with that. She has flown over from America, especially for her first royal performance, singing Ain't It Funny, the sensational Jennifer Lopez. <laughs>
how do you follow that? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, in the world of musical theater, there are shows that are considered giants that have withstood the test of time. Shows like My Fair Lady, Oklahoma, uh, West Side Story, The King and I, well, the list goes on and on and on. When one such giant hit the stage back in 1962, it gave us an insight into the world of burlesque. The show, of course, was Gypsy. Well, tonight, we are thrilled to have three musical legends recreate the moment where three strippers meet Gypsy Rose Lee for the very first time, and they offer her some sound advice. So what do you say we go backstage with Gotta Have a Gimmick? with stripping. <laughs> it's not easy being a stripper, you know, apart from the drafts. You constantly have to think up new ideas. Uh, edit, fellas. Take it away. <laughs> you can call, call the stops out till they call the cops out. Grind your behind till your pants. But you gotta get a gimmick if you wanna get a hand. Sacrifice your sacro, waking in a back row, bump in a dump till you're dead. Kids, you gotta get a gimmick if you wanna get ahead. You can, you can, you can. That's how burlesque was born. So I, and I, and I. But I do it with a heart. Wait for this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Once I was a schlepper, now I'm Miss Mazeppa. Oh, it's my revolution in dance. You gotta get a gimmick if you wanna get myself off. <laughs> oh, hello, Joe. Come on, Joe. Do you want to give this a go? <laughs> oh. How about you over there? You want to try this? No. Okay, I'll do it by myself. <laughs> Oh. 
That's so much better. Mind you, don't send yourself. <laughs> yeah. You said you weren't gonna do that, Savage. <laughs> Never trust the scouser. Go to shell it for your mate, OK, big one. Big finish, big finish. for this. and the fabulous Elton John. Searching for pure skin pleasure? New Filler Shave Cool Skin with built-in shaving gel. Now at Toys R Us, operation. Coming through, coming through. Right, let's operate. 
Operation, the game where you have to operate from head to toes, but careful, one slip and... <laughs> off he goes! We got another one! Operation, be the top dog. And now at Toys R Us, buy two Hasbro games and get the third free. See in store for details. Toys R Us, 63 stores nationwide. We took a boat to an island. Took a boat. We walked in the sand. A starfish. We laughed. We ran. We danced. We had a dream. And it was just like this. And it stayed that way. Forever. Forever. Ever and ever and ever. Eternity. Calvin Klein. We laughed forever. Eternity Christmas gifts us from £21.50. Available now while stocks last. Shrek has arrived on video. I can fly! I can fly! I can fly. He can talk! I'm a flying talking donkey! And now the year's biggest family movie just got bigger. Ooh. And the only way you're going to see the all-new bonus footage yeah. is on video and DVD. Shrek! Own it now on video and DVD. Change the face of digital photography with the Intel Pentium 4 processor, the center of your digital world. If he's going to play his dreadful music, he, he may as well play it on something decent. Mm. Are you seriously getting Mike a fancy, expensive laptop? No, just fancy. <laughs> of your favourite artists. Who will win? The record of the year 2001 Top 20. Sunday 6.30 on ITV1. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Mason. <laughs> This was so fantastic. This was so brilliant. And the show was so fantastic in general, I decided to come out to put a stop to this entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and I present a comedian before talking about the French, making fun of the French, lousing up the French. God bless the French people. They were great people. Who believes this? Anybody? <laughs> Somehow, somehow, if it's French, people think it's elegant, it's stylish. Why is it when you go to a French restaurant, you pay four times, ten times as much as any other restaurant? And there's no food on the plate. <laughs> they give you a sauce, and that's it. They're looking for the dish with them. They don't know where the food is. You become a detective. You see any food here? There's no food on the plate. Oh, but it's French, it's French. There's no food on the plate, but nobody cares. You ever notice that at the French restaurants, there's no lights? Why? There's no food. <laughs> you know what you get there? You get fancy flights of shrubbery, all kinds of shrubbery on the plate. Shrubbery and shrubbery. You don't know if you bought a meal or a farm. It's busy with shrubbery. <laughs> you get a fancy title, Nouvelle Cuisine. You know what that means? No food. <laughs> There's no food on the plate to nobody. I bought a steak at a fancy French restaurant. This is a true story. I bought a steak, I couldn't find it. <laughs> it was under a mushroom, that's it. <laughs> mm. 
is that if they gave you that much food in a regular restaurant, you would call a cop. In a regular restaurant, if they gave you that much food, if you was Italian, you'd punch the guy right in the mouth. If you were Jewish, you would hire an Italian to do it for you. <laughs> Because when, you, when you're in a regular low-class restaurant, you want big portions. In an average-priced restaurant, doesn't everybody want big portions? Isn't this ironic? For $4, they want big portions. For $300, they don't care if there's nothing there. <laughs> for four, that's right, for $4, when you come out of a restaurant, what do people say to you? What do people say to you when you come out of a just plain restaurant? You know what they tell you? They don't even talk about anything else. They just talk about the portions. The portions, the portions, that's all they do. You should see the portions. I saw portions, but not like this. I, I can't believe the portions. Ask them, how did it taste? I don't remember. What the fuck? <laughs> Listen, how do you feel? I'm a little nauseous. I'm a little nauseous. <laughs> but the portions with portions. <laughs> I can even go back there. If I live that long, I don't know. The portions. <laughs> Buy a piece of cake in a Jewish delicatessen. You, you get a piece of cake you could eat for a month and a half. <laughs> you ever buy a dessert at a real fancy French restaurant? Did you ever go to a real fancy? Look who I picked out. Did you? <laughs> Go to a real fancy friend. You ever see what they call a dessert there? You ever see what they call a dessert? They cut up one grape into four pieces. <laughs> the grape, they cut it up into four pieces, then they make a red line between this grape and that grape. <laughs> you don't know if you bought a map, a dessert, you have no idea what the hell it is. <laughs> People don't even eat things in a, in a French restaurant. They never eat any place else, like escargot. They actually eat escargot in, because it's a French restaurant. You would never eat escargot if you was in a coffee shop, would you? <laughs> What's your honest opinion? Would you eat escargot? Yeah. Who am I talking to? <laughs> escargot is a snail. Who the hell would eat a snail if it was the, who the... There's nothing more disgusting than a snail, is there? You was in a coffee shop and the waitress walked over to you with a snail in her hands. <laughs> and she said, here, here, you want this? <laughs> Everybody would say, oh, you're a clog, it's a snail. It's not a sale. It's escargot. Oh. <laughs> I want to ask you, I want to ask you a good question. How come nobody eats a cockroach? How come? <laughs> How come what? Because it doesn't have a French name. That's the only reason. <laughs> if it had a French name, everybody in this building would be eating a cockroach. That's right. If they called it Cacquet Rocher. <laughs> everybody would say, the hell with escargot. You hear about Cacquet Rocher? <laughs> I don't like to criticize, that's not my nature. <laughs> Excuse me, they told me on this side that I have to go. Since it's their show, I got no choice. Before I go, how about an extra few dollars from each person? You know, the word star is used too freely these days. But the person I'm about to introduce, well, is more than worthy of that title. His last appearance on the Royal Variety performance was way back in 1972. And since then, he's won so many awards for his music, including Grammys and even an Oscar in 1994 for best song in Disney's The Lion King. He's won the hearts of our nation with his music, indeed the world. He's one of the nicest, he's one of the kindest stars I know. He is, of course, the one, the only, Elton John. A man like me is dead in places of a man to live But I can't love shop full of holes. I don't mean nothing. I 
That's a new song um, from a new album, and I'm going to do a song now that came out in 1970 when I was 10, um, <laughs> and in fact is the whole reason that I'm probably still here tonight. Um, it's the first hit I ever had anywhere in the world, and it goes like this.
It's for people like you that keep it turned on. So excuse me for getting up, but these things I do, you see, I forgot if they're green or they're blue. Anyway, the things what I remain. Are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. You can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words. do uh, another new song from the new album which is called songs from the west coast not recorded in torquay or barnstable but in los angeles <laughs> um spare no expense with me you know me <laughs> i like nice things um, <laughs> anyway this is a song that i think is one of the best that bernie and i have ever written and it's called this train don't stop there anymore <laughs>
Your Majesty, on behalf of the entire ensemble here tonight, we would like to thank you so much for attending this evening. And may we be precocious enough to be the first to congratulate you on your royal jubilee year. Um, may you have the best year. Many congratulations. Three cheers for Her Majesty the Queen. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. And so now, Laurie Mansfield from the EAPF escorts Her Majesty on stage to thank the company. Meeting first of all, Jeff Thacker, producer of tonight's show. Jackie Tyler, associate producer. Bob Massey, deputy controller of entertainment. Television director, Ian Hamilton. Emma Forbes, who introduced tonight's show. And our members of Cirque du Soleil, Kidan. Claire Sweeney, who introduced Anatoly Zalievsky. Dora Bryan. Kim, Danny, Suzanne, Noel, and Mylene, better known as Hearsay. Irish chart toppers, The Cause. Comedian, John Culshaw. And surprise guest, Dale Winton. Pub landlord, Al Murray. Cornish comic, Jethro. Ruby Wax introduced Adam Watkins, Samantha Mumba. Footballer, town film star, Vinnie Jones. Robert Meadmore and Charlotte Church in the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber. They were joined by Alessandro Safina. Denise Van Outen, and from America, Donny Osmond. The Voice, Russell Watson. Julian Clary, who opened the show, is a prize guest, Frankie DeTore. Craig David, a first Royal Variety performance for him, as it is for the sensational Jennifer Lopez. Jimmy Tarbuck, who read the Queen's special message this evening. The legendary Cher. Three television greats, one of tonight's highlights, Barbara Windsor, Paul O'Grady, otherwise known as Lily Savage, and the lady with the legs, Scylla Black. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Finally, Her Majesty meets the star of tonight's show, Sir Elton John. And the Queen is presented with a memento from the first Royal Variety performance back in 1912. So from all of us this year, good night. Due to extra time required by the Royal Variety performance, our programmes are now running 25 minutes later than advertised. So we'll take a revealing look at what the stars really get up to in their dressing rooms at 10.45 after the news coming next. Coronation Street.